the final day of renting the house. It's time to leave. Our brand new farm is waiting for us. It's actually going to be a downgrade in quality um, because our new house is much smaller and it's a bit of a, a tip. Uh, this place has been very nicely looked after. But yes, obviously we have the benefit of the land and of course the yard. This house is rented and it has this technically, um, but yeah, not much space to keep our equipment. And in fact, all of our equipment isn't even here. We have a combine harvester too. So the first job of today is to take everything over to our brand new yard. It's going to be tough um, because it's all spread out everywhere. Some of the stuff is here. It's also over at the the main farm, over at uh, Peter's farm. So yeah, a bit of uh, driving backwards and forwards between places. So yeah, that is job number one. I'm hoping to still do some work for Peter today. He might not need us, I don't know. He hasn't said so. We should probably drop by there on the way and just find out. This is exciting, but at the same time very scary because we have no money. <laughs> Pretty much minus £100,000. Okay, so yeah, as we are so close, we might as well just pull over here and just find out for sure what we are doing. I'm definitely moving in this morning, though. I actually have no work lined up. If you drop by later, I might have something for you. Well, in a way, that is actually a good thing, because we are very busy. Uh, in fact, if we don't have anything to do, I will probably spend our time tidying up the yard. Because um, it's not good. It's been neglected quite heavily, so yeah, it, it really does need to have a bit of a spruce up. I think I'll probably get rid of a lot of the, the clutter, which is around the front. We've actually got loads of IBCs, and there's even an old muck spreader, which needs to go, because um, it's of no use to us. So we'll probably get some scrap value on that, hopefully. Uh, anything we can make from this place is a bonus, really, because, yeah, it's just... We don't, need the, we don't need the drums, we don't need the muck spreader, we don't need that, some kind of cage. Uh, the IBCs might be handy. The whole place needs to tidy up, and I actually do have plans in the future to expand this place, but it just depends on the money. Uh, if we don't have the money to do stuff, then obviously it's going to stay exactly as it is now, but I would like to uh, probably demolish one of these barns and replace it with a, a bigger shed. But yes, yeah, so one step at a time, because I've only walked about three metres into the property, and I'm already planning what buildings should be knocked down. Not a great start. So, <laughs> here we are. Uh, Gary has left. He's gone. Um, I didn't even get time to speak to him, so it's, it's really sad because he was actually a strange character, but he was still a nice chap. So, uh, yeah, our burgers and the steak no longer available to us. What we're going to do for food is basically pay for shopping every week and we'll make our own food um, every night. So the money is obviously going to go out of our accounts probably on the same day as when the, uh, well, probably the mortgage interest is taken and also... Um, yeah, when we get paid from uh, Peter Wood. Right, uh, so yeah, we need to bring some things in here. We actually have a much bigger section to the yard. This is just the entranceway. Uh, we do need to keep it tidier than this. There's actually plenty of space here. But as we are going to be uh, sorting things out, we're going to put this probably in this shed. But there is also another one just there in the trees. Uh, so yeah, the combine is definitely going in here. Hopefully we can make it around the corner. Uh, so, as we have no sheep... I can leave the gates open. If I just put this one into here, opening the gate will definitely help with the access of things. There we go. And we actually should, oh, we actually should uh, bring multiple things if we can do. I'm not too sure if there's anything we can put in the trailer. I might still have a seed bag. So that can go in the trailer. Uh, putting a trailer in a trailer is going to be tough without a front loader because we have two trailers to bring. Um, and we also have yeah, the combine harvester and the drill. Yes, the drill needs to be brought over as well. Okay, so here we are. We've got the next trailer just here. Um, I think we'll take this one first before the smaller one. Where is my bag of seed? I'm sure there's a bag of seed here. Anyway, not to worry. So we are coming back here just once more for that second trailer and then we have moved out. We've officially moved out. We do still have another payment to do though. There is still another £700 to pay um, Yeah, because of our very late notice that we handed in. 
So here we go, we're back in the, uh, well not really the farmyard, but the field around the back. I think the sheep will be in here, I'm not too sure at this stage. I'm definitely looking into it, but at the moment it is out of the question. We just have to get on top of at least some of the uh, repayments, as it's tough, it's going to be very tough. Uh, luckily, we do have the work for Peter, so that's going to really help paying it off, but it is still going to take some time to do. Number three. Here goes. I like that all of these different trailers do fit to this tractor. Because they do have different fittings. This is a car trailer, the other one was a agricultural trailer with a pin. I think he had a pin. Oh. Yeah, so eventually we're going to have to invest in a new tractor. I'm hoping to actually keep this tractor as well. Although we've been given a good price on it, it's still going to be really useful. Um, because chances are we'll be keeping the same drill, it would be more for the plough and that sort of stuff, uh, just to have the extra horsepower, and hopefully a front loader as well. We will see. This trailer I can definitely put into this shed just here, because uh, it won't be a problem reversing it. It does seem a bit cluttered though, I really want to be able to open up this yard. Uh, this particular shed will be staying, but it's just that one in the entranceway which I don't really like, uh, especially as we can't put much in it. Right, there we go. And we'll keep the ratchet strap nice and safe, we won't keep it attached to the trailer. Good. Okay, next place is Peter's farm. We're going to pick up the plough, the drill, and also the combine harvester. The combine is going to be quite tricky. Uh, because of the header, so the header might have to stay in the field. I don't want it outside, but at the moment we can't afford to get a trailer. So we're just going to have to uh, put a cover over it or something. A cheap fix. And I do need to uh, speak to Peter about getting some fuel as well. Because we need such a, a tiny amount that we can't really justify buying a big drum of it. So I'll do that later. Uh, yes, in here. For oh, we've got a spreader as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a spreader. We've got loads of stuff. Well, I think we'll do the drill first. Nice, easy fitting. I've, I do like the drill. I think it is a nice piece of equipment, especially as it doesn't take much power to actually use, as it isn't even PTO driven. It just runs off the drive wheels. The wheels on the back. It's got the gears. Yes, I probably don't mean drive wheels, I think I probably mean land wheels. Okay then, so as we already know, the combine's going to be used before the drill. Uh, we can put this into the back area. And really, it is better this way, because if we block in the combine with a drill, we have to faff around attaching it and stuff. If we block in the, uh, the drill with the combine, we just start the engine and drive off. At least that's how it should be. Now for this plough, I'm already aware of it being quite heavy, but I don't think there'll be an issue just transporting it. Uh, the front wheels might come up slightly, but it shouldn't be uh, so much that it's dangerous, let's just see. Yeah, it's a bit light, but it's fine. I can control it. No problem with that at all. Right, so the big move is well and truly underway, and I think we only have one more thing to move. Oh, two more things to move. Yes. And then we'll go for a quick walk around our brand new fields. We have three fields with the property. It's looking like a really vintage collection, this. But I don't mind, because it's it's all fine. Hang on, that's weird. It moved it. Okay. Uh, so, yes, we'll go back for the spreader. Now, we do actually have more money coming in in a few days' time uh, than it might first appear. Uh, because we do have the money which we spend on the beehives, which uh, Peter has not paid us for yet. He's paying his 50% share on that. And we also have um, what else? something else he was supposed to be paying us back for. I forget. Something. Anyway, he'll remember. So he will give us the money for it, I'm sure. We know there's something. We definitely know. So off we go with the spreader. And again, it needs to be undercover. It can't be anywhere it's going to get wet. Because actually, we do have some fertilizer in it, which isn't ideal. I don't like leaving a fertilizer 
in the spreaders because it does them no good at all. Uh, and of course the fertilizer is uh, open to the air and it'll probably go chunky, which is never good. Okay, so that is everything done from an implement side of things. Uh, if I just put this over here, right in the middle of the shed, hopefully there's no holes. I don't think there are. There's one in the wall over there, but nothing in the roof. Uh, so yeah, if it's in the cover, there shouldn't be an issue. Just put it over here. There we go. Perfect. Right, to the combine. It's a long walk. I do like this combine though. It's nice. It's much older than the Dominator which we used. Uh, we probably shouldn't mention the Dominator again, but yes, it's older but um, yeah, still going strong. However, there's definitely something fishy about that Dominator fire. <laughs> we probably shouldn't mention it. I certainly feel quite high up here, despite it being a small combine. Oh, there's always a car coming. And it always has to be a slow driver. Thing is, it's going to get tighter in this yard up here, so this could get quite interesting. It's not so old though that it can't have a beacon. Everyone needs a beacon. My plan is to reverse in. I don't think it's too tall. Oh, that's still open. Much better visibility too. Uh, no, that is just the right amount of clearance. Uh, can just about see in the mirror. I would say that is close enough. Let's take a look. Yes, because I need to get out again with the tractor. So, beacon off and we'll be finished. Where's the beacon? There it is. Okay, so let's take a look at our fields. We have three fields, although technically it is four, um, because it's not taking into account the sheep field, which we're currently stood in. Um, it's field number 10, 11, and 16. This is 11 just over here. It's accessed, bizarrely, through field number four, which is Peter's field. I don't know why that would be, but yeah. We're all friends, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, field number 16, just over here, very big field. Uh, in fact, it's huge. And also field number 10, just over here, beyond the sheep field. Up. Oh, yep, it's <laughs> it's just here uh, through the gate. So we have quite a bit of that. And of course, we've already got the other field as well for number six. So we have, um, well, four official fields, five if you take into account the sheep field, which I'm going to. Uh, so yeah, we have five fields. Pretty good. And we have a gigantic debt, which is expected with that amount of land uh, because we obviously started off with absolutely nothing just a few months ago, we have evolved massively. Okay, so, um, what shall we do? These things are a bit in the way. They're a bit heavy to move. They've got something in them. Um, if you bear with me, I'm going to try and uh, get these things scrapped. And then, I'll have to think about what we can do with these sheds. Yes, I want to get these all this lot here moved and scrapped. And the money should come in in a few days, I guess. I don't think it'll be an instant payment. They'll probably pay us on the same day as when we get paid from Peter. So it will be a good day. Lots of money coming in. <laughs> Whew, right, that was, that was tough work. So, everything has moved. Uh, I've even managed to put that on top of there. Cause it, they're pretty heavy, those things. But because there's nothing in it, I managed to sort of shuffle it onto that one and then throw it up there. It was pretty tough, but it's there now, making more space. And the muck spread is gone, the barrels have gone. Everything is much neater. But we now need to cut down some of those weeds. So, if I can just, um, yeah, pull out of here if I can do. We'll attach the, uh, the finger bar mower and attempt to clear the grass up too. I don't think the weeds will be able to go. But anything is an improvement. If the grass is cut shorter, that in itself is good. And yes, I think the next stop is going to be Peter's place to be able to get some diesel. Um, I'm hoping we can just pay him there and then. Um, it shouldn't be too expensive. It only has a very small tank. This place really is a mess. Right, let's unfold. There we go. 
I might be better off reversing it. I forgot my PTO, haven't I? There we go. Yeah, I might be better off reversing in. It's cutting it, but the thistles and that sort of stuff is all very strong. Still a vast improvement. Yeah, it's good. Definitely happy with that. I don't want to crash. It's a bit long in the entranceway too, in the gateway. Cut that a bit shorter. Uh, yeah, so I need to probably look into getting some weed colour. Um, to, get, to eradicate these weeds, because it's a bit ugly. It doesn't bother me too much, but yeah, it's the first thing you see when you walk in. If they're around the back, absolutely fine. It's just, yeah, it's a bit unsightly just here. And that barn there, I think, would be the one that I have replaced. But then again, it's quite nice. It's got character. It's an old barn. Hang on, is that a door? No, it can't be a door, can it? Let's just be, uh, yeah, just the side of it. Anyway, yeah, I think that's good enough for the time being. Let's go over to Peter's farm, and I'll attempt to get some diesel. Uh, it's going to be like, well, £20 would it be? Shouldn't be more than 20 We have 6 litres left, which will last quite a while, but yeah, I don't like to keep the tank empty uh, or low because of condensation. It can cause some serious problems. No traffic, that makes a change. Now, where is his diesel tank? I think it's around the back. Anyway, I, oh no, it's there. Isn't it? I think, oh, well, I'll, I'll have a look for it. I'll just ask him first, obviously. Yes, no problem. Just pay me for the diesel you dispense. Good. Yeah, you can sort of predict what he's going to say now. Uh, shame I didn't ask him where the diesel refill point is. I'm pretty sure it's here, though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it's going to be quite expensive. Uh, we did put quite a bit in there. £82. That seems extortionate. Maybe he has road diesel instead of the uh, off-road diesel. Red diesel. Okay. So we have a day to ourselves, pretty much. I don't think there's any work he would have said. So, let's go and see what we can do. Uh, we might, actually, we might even be able to cut one of our fields. Uh, we don't have the equipment to actually sort it all out, but I'm sure, if the worst comes to the worst, Peter could just bail it and keep the bells for himself. At least they're going to good use. Uh, but hopefully, we can get some money out of it. Hopefully he'll pay us for them, because, uh, yeah, I would have thought he would need the grass. I can't see why he wouldn't. So, uh, I'm not going to do the big field because this is <laughs> not a very big tractor. I'll go for the smaller one just over here. But, if nothing else, we're actually cutting some of our own grass for the first time. And really, considering it's been derelicts... Well, not derelicts, no, sorry, Gary was living here, but... Uh, yes, it's been... Yeah, not very well maintained. The grass is still quite good quality, from what I can tell. Here goes. Let's do some mowing. Yeah, and it should also help to knock down some of the weeds if there are some weeds growing here. Which is no bad thing at all. Even this field is quite big. The whole site is 40 acres. The whole property is 40 acres. Um, so we are doing spectacularly well. As we said, considering we didn't have anything. I think we're going to find it hard to move. I'm going to stay put. We're never going to move from here, are we? It's not possible. It's just too lovely. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place 
just the two of us and we can stay up all night kissing under street lights doing what we want to doing what we need to do staying up all night everything is all right oh i wanna be with you oh i wanna be with you let me be the someone who can hold your hand i don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel i got you in my head Okay, so we're just coming to a close here. We're almost finished. And yeah, it's actually gone really well. Good quality grass. I do have a plan for this field now, actually. And I think it might be ploughed. We have a plough. Um, we don't have a tractor to power it, but still. Or to pull it, I should say. Um, yes, this field would be better if it was arable. Because we already have quite a, a few grass fields. And we don't really specialise in grass. Because we don't have the, uh, the balers and the windrowers and all that sign, sort of stuff. Uh, although we could buy the small window, I suppose, from Peter. But then again, we don't have the money. <laughs> money is always the issue. Um, so, yeah, it's just plenty of things to consider here. And, yeah, we'll just go from there. What we're going to do is speak to him, probably on an email tonight, see what he wants to do with this field. Um, hopefully, he is going to want us to bail it. And then he's going to buy the bales from us. I would have thought he would do. I can't see any reason why he wouldn't want the bales, since he's actually short on bales himself. At least he is at this farm. The cows are suffering a bit. So, yeah. It's going to be a win-win situation, hopefully. Anyway, we're going to leave it here for today. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the progress. We are doing quite well now. Uh, not for money, though. And, yeah, until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.